Hi. It is a sunny day in northern Germany, which is uh, quite rare actually, even if it's summer or so-called summer. It, we had some rainy days and some uh, grayish days and yeah, it's actually the first day I have some time on my hands while it is still sunny um, in a long time. This project I'm gonna need some sun for and what it is I have my very yellowed uh, Amiga 1200 here which I'm going to try to retrobrite. And it's the first time I um, attempt this, so yeah. I uh, watched some tutorials on this and read some forum posts and there are different opinions on this, um, but I found that the method that convinced me the most is using um, this stuff here, which is a cream, uh, Creme Oxidant, uh, cream um, hydrogen peroxide, and it's basically the stuff um, that people call retrobrite, uh, which is um, hydrogen peroxide mixed with uh, stuff to make it creamy. But this is creamy from the beginning. This is um, meant to be used on hair. Uh, to bleach it and it's 12% uh, uh, hydrogen peroxide in there which is um, the highest value you can get at least in Europe it's um, restricted because it's uh, pretty much it's it's quite dangerous really you can um, hurt yourself if you touch it so I'm gonna wear gloves um, the first first thing I want to do is to clean this thoroughly and I'm going to um, take it all apart and take taking apart the, the case and I'm also going to take the keycaps off because they are also quite yellow. So let's see how it goes. Um, most people said you have to um, try it for some time and then uh, give it another layer of this and try it again and put it in the sun and turn it around and stuff like that. So let's first take it apart and clean it. It's a sunny day in paradise. Sunny day. And of course, we have to um, take the LED assembly off. You have to lift the the mechanism to pull out the ribbon cable and these break pretty easily so be very careful so there we are should take out the drive here and it's quite yellow here it had some you can see that it um, was exposed to some sun there So here's the yellowing, you can see that it's, yeah, it's quite spotty really. This side is quite yellow. And this is the original color, I think. It's quite, it's a gray, a little bit beige, but mostly grayish there. So I think, yeah, let's give this a good wash. And we have to take the keyboard part, of course. So here's uh, how I do this. I'm using this flathead screwdriver and just go under the keys there. Just carefully pry them out. 
I'm trying to keep all the little springs there and stuff. So oops. losing them. That's pretty. Just do this. So I have the um, case soaking in there and the keycaps are soaking in there. And I'm using uh, this stuff here. This works pretty well for removing um, fat and grease and nicotine stuff from plastics. And I'm always trying to make sure the water is not too hot because otherwise the plastic can, uh, can bend. Basically, so I'm using lukewarm water like I would for taking a shower or stuff like that. So I'm gonna soak this for a bit and then rub it with a brush to clean it and a sponge maybe. See you in a bit. So this cleaned up pretty nicely and yeah, as you can see, it's still yellow, of course, because it's not dirt, but um, it's actually the bromide that was used as a flame retardant in these um, computer cases. And what I have to do now is to remove the sticker here, I think. Which is not an easy task to do without damaging it. So I'm going to use a very, very flat blade here. Just wiggling a bit and I'm very careful. <laughs> and there's the original color of the whole thing underneath there. So. so I am about to take this to the balcony. Uh, the sun is gone a bit, but I think it's still better than to do it inside. And as you can see, I have a little uh, brush here, I have some gloves on that are black. These are quite good for this job because you can clearly see if they get um, ripped or stuff, which is not so easy with the clear ones, I think. But it's it's pretty random, I just have these lying around. It's um, normal household um, uh, gloves that I'm gonna use. So I'm just giving this little treatment with some hydrogen peroxide cream. <laughs> I nearly forgot the foil. Just some uh, clean wrap, I think. Right. So, okay.
think I'll put these in a Ziploc bag and put some hydrogen peroxide stuff in there. fun. Okay, now I'm going to uh, come back and uh, every once in a while and rattle it around a bit and uh, change positions and then see if it works. So it definitely is a whole lot lighter after the night and um, five hours of daylight maybe. Okay, so this is not bad at all. So these definitely are a lot um, brighter than before. They're still quite yellow. So what I'm gonna try is to um, put some water and some hydrogen peroxide cream in here to have them evenly um, in there and then put them back. But this is much better already. It's working quite well. So some of this, a lot of this actually. And some water. Until they are all nicely covered there, I think. So, alright, let's give it another couple of hours, I think. The sun is it's quite cloudy, sadly. So, yeah. But basically, I'm gonna let this sit there as long as it's um, day time. Let's see. Okay, this is a lot better. And this is the original color of the, the, the underside, the bottom of the case. It's pretty close already. It's still a bit yellow. So this is after um, two days and two nights. And yeah, I think I'll give it another day with um, some fresh uh, peroxide. And the keys are, I actually dissolved them into water to get a more even look. I don't know if that's a good idea, but they are pretty white already. So you can maybe see. Yeah, they are still a bit yellow, so I'll give them another round two, I think. And yeah, but some of the, the really bad um, discolorations on the back here are completely gone. And the case was very yellow. It's very, it's pretty white now. 
here you can see the, the difference here. That was that is the original color where the, the sticker was. Not bad, I'd say. Not bad at all. So, if sunlight has anything to do with this, um, it's definitely not the time for retro brighting. So you might be able to see it's raining. Uh, I think it's called it's raining cats and dogs. <laughs> So it's, it's, it has been raining all day, and it will, and it's pretty dark and cloudy, so yeah. I'm basically gonna call it a wrap now, so this is what this looks like now, this is I, what I believe to be the original color, and this is what we got. Um, it's pretty close, I'd say, so I'm gonna unwrap this and... Um, wash away the peroxide and then um, reassemble it. So yeah, I think it, it didn't change um, in the last round, at least it didn't change much. Um, so maybe this is all we can get and we can't get it back to its fully to its original color, but it's way better than, than it was. It was really, really yellow. So yeah, let's see what this uh, looks like assembled. All right, so here it is. Um, after three days and three nights or something like that, um, didn't have much sun, but it's pretty close um, to its original color. You can still see some yellow stuff going on there, but it's very, very minimal. And it had this um, nasty discoloration here on this side here, which is completely gone. Nothing there. So it's pretty much, it looks like a new case nearly. So that's about as white as it is. This is the original white where the, the um, Commodore sticker was. And you can pretty much see that it's very, very close to the original color. It looks way, way, way better than um, uh, before, at least. I'm very, very pleased with the result. It looks very nice. And I don't have any cloudy stuff, or at least nothing nothing serious there are some parts that are a bit more yellow but it's all nothing serious it looks pretty nice let's reassemble it So here's my favorite part, the keyboard. So as you can maybe see, there are some slight discolorations. Maybe you can see it here, the five is a bit yellower than the rest. And maybe I'll have to redo the keyboard at some point. But it is definitely much better than before. Okay, so here's that moment. It doesn't look too shabby to me, I think. Okay, so I have this all reassembled and it's a lot whiter than before. Let's see if it still works. 
that's the um, most important part really I guess so the picture quality is not gonna be amazing because it's the um, composite out only but it probably will work ah beautiful all right let's see if this works yeah so this about concludes the uh, retrobrite session of this amiga i learned a lot you need a lot of patience to do this but um basically can bring these back to their original color nearly i'm pretty close and i'm sure yeah that's about as good as it gets took some days really you don't really need sunlight it worked without some it only took longer most probably I have no um, no experience whatsoever so can't really tell if it takes any longer but it worked out pretty well without much Sun and yeah you be you should be very careful with um, things like the keycaps so that you get them evenly so what else and the stuff I used works pretty good, 12% um, peroxide cream worked very well, um, yeah. So that's about all I learned I think. Hope you enjoyed this, if you want to support me there's um, links to um, my Patreon and a PayPal donation link and uh, stuff like that in the video description and on my channel page basically and yeah, you can also give this a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel of course there's a lot more retro computing stuff going on here usually so yeah that's basically it hope to see you again sometime I'm Jan Beta See you next time. Bye!